flash drives. It just brings me so much joy to see three 16 gigabyte flash drives going for 27 bucks and not even looking for a bargain. This was from JB Hi-Fi. Mate, like go on to AliExpress and you, you could probably buy the whole factory for them. Hyperbole aside, I remember being a kid and like I was really young but was still using floppy disks and when flash drives finally became accessible to us. My first flash drive was a 32 megabyte one. Oh mate, it was like 10 times a floppy disk. I had end of Z world on it. I had that drag racing flash game on it and sometimes even homework. And like just the plug and play of flash drives was amazing. Floppy disks are annoying. For a little bit, there was like a bit of status as to how big your flash drive was. Let me tell you, mate, the day I rolled up to school with my first ever MP3 player and it had 128 megabytes. But I know what you're asking. Why are you telling us this? Because I'm setting up this nugget right here. <clears throat> The first ever iPod Shoufflé. Look at the green on the inside of the packaging. It looks like it's blending in with the iPad. Now, I was telling you all that guff and goof and whatever about flash drives just to set up why these were so popular. I mean, because, you know, there's a whole generation of you who've probably never had anything to do with these. These are getting old and weird, and just honestly, most people just threw them away. And you're probably looking at this thing going, right, so like, it's just a stick nugget with no screen or anything and yet they sold millions and millions of them. Yes, it's a stick nugget, but look at that. Bonafide flash drive, just plug and play. And honestly, one of the best accessories to ever be packed in. Uh. A lanyard. <laughs> Simple controls on the back, and this one's been left on, so it's guaranteed to be dead. Battery indicator was either green or red. That that was it. But here's the bowler thing about this thing, mate, right? So I had a bit of a flex with my 128 Dick Smith MP3 player. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this, mate. Oh my god, it's it's 512 megabytes. No, it's the big one. And the best bit, this is the smallest capacity iPod ever made. It's the only one that exists in the megabytes because they had a gigabyte model of one of these too. Why gig? I'm actually super excited to open this. I've been saving this for like a special day because my first ever brand new iPod was one of these. The, the first gen iPod Shoufflé. My first iPod was a mini, but this was my first new one. What's shuffle? I mean shoufflé. Your favorite songs in a different order every time. Why shoufflé? Sometimes it's good to mix things up. With iPod shoufflé, your music is never the same experience twice. It was very hard to read it like that. Unshoufflé? No, no, that's wrong. All oh, this is wrong. You can't unshoufflé something. Features. Plays music two ways. Two music. I think the duck can do that because yes, this it. Oh, that's right. I gutted the duck a long time ago. Okay, I'm gonna put this corpse back. Holds over 120 songs. That that was actually really pretty good back then. So, you know, fitness people using these back then, because it's a really good gym MP3 player, but honestly, it was kids. All right, shut up, let's get into it. It's a brand new nug. Uh, am, I, am I nugging properly? Am I doing this right? Wow, this opens terrible. Oh, we're nugging now. Oh my, it blends in so good. That Shrek green, I mean, I've always loved this shade of green. It just looks good. We'll get to the nug in a bit. I don't even remember what this came with, to be honest. And he, I, how do you even get in? Huh? Is it glued? I think they've glued this shirt. Ooh, ooh, am I doing this? Ooh, oh, that's ugly. Don't steal music. This is a really nice little card. Look at that, 2005. I mean, this is still better than the instruction books that come with things today. Samsung Buds. Yeah, I like that. <gasps> Even the text is green. Ah, oh, they haven't changed. Free music! <laughs> Sorry, that startled me. Oh, look at that old iTunes. Frustrating everyone that used it. Get the free single of the week. In other words, you don't get to pick the music and it's, you know, it's free because, yeah, you didn't pick it. Guff. Ugh. iTunes, yeah. Oh, those old iBooks. I'm loving the green text. It's so good. Those earphones are terrible, by the way. I mean, honestly, it's still a good manual today. Uh, and like, I know Apple's not allowed to make good things. Just, it's, it's illegal. It's not allowed. But this is still a better manual than what comes with stuff today. Ugly. Hold on to your butts, it's nugget time. Oh, it's under a, a thing. There's a thing on here saying remove, and it's like the only way to get to your MP3 player. So why do people need to be told this? Actually, no, don't give me reasons. I'm sure there's many. Uh, I actually like the current, like, pack-in earbuds, like with iPhones and whatevers. 
the, the ones that like AirPods before the AirPods came out. I think they sound conventionally good. They're not amazing. It's not audio file quality, but for packings, they're good. Um, yeah, these suck. <laughs> these really do stink. And you know, they don't even fit good. And so, yeah, a lot of the hatred of the absolute current one comes from the lineage of these and even the next model of these sucking. <laughs> Oh, the precious lanyard cap. And the nugget, I suppose. I mean, watch the money shot. Here we go. It's just gonna say Mindshare on it? Like, hang on. Mindshare. But why? <laughs> so someone, someone had an iPod engraved and then just never opened it? Oh, it engraved on their 512. Oh, so you can show all your mates and be like, Yeah, mate, I basically own the school now. Uh, I guess we gotta see if it even, like, dingus works at all. It Oh dear. It's like I forgot it's a video or something and I've got to actually like show you what I'm doing. Engage. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, we got a dead nug. Hang on, we have to verify. Oh no. <laughs> this sad beast still go. Get out, get out. All right, my sweet child. Let's see how long it takes for you to wake up. Guys, I'm getting bored. I haven't given up on the boy just yet, but this is my chance to show you one of my favorite accessories for any iPod. I can't even look at it. From Belkin, it's the tune base for iPod Shuffle. It's just this extended USB port, just hmm, see the way. This is brand new. Can you believe no one bought this? Reveal the treasures. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's awesome. I actually don't have one of these. Hang on, hang on. This is spiraling out of control. Look at this fugly cable they've supplied it with. And I love how it's beige, so it will match your seat covers because you're probably driving something from the 80s. I, I've always had old cars, and at school, I always had one of these handy for plugging in my old iPod into cars. <laughs> that's awesome. Into the hood with you. I'm gonna put that in my old Mercedes. Oh man, that was actually delightful. Let's let's have a look at the... Ooh, right. It's more flexible than I thought. What's this? Um... What? Um, maybe the manual will tell us more. Congratulations, you bought this nugget extender fit ring. What? You have to squeeze this over. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. Why? Why do I have to fit that? Why can't that just be fitted, I don't know, at the factory? Oh, it's got an aux jack at the bottom. Actually, no, that's really dumb because the, the headphone jack... I need to look... <laughs> Extend! It's not even the same color. This is brand new. This has not been in the sun yet. The headphone jack's still visible. What? Why does it need another? Oh, I see! Look, the whole dang system! <laughs> but maybe it only outputs through USB or something? Not through its own headphone jack? Uh, I, I don't I don't care, but I do love this fiasco. <laughs> do not attempt to install the product while driving! Well, what a delightful pile of mess. Um, I don't like that, but I do like this. Gimme. Put it back in its box for future generations to scour it. Look, the ring fits in the thing. Like, why do I have to fit that? Well, but people, we got a problem. He's cooked, mate. He's just not doing the do no more. He's not doing the do he was designed to do. There you go. A brand new iPod shuffle. <laughs> and it's cooked. She's gone, mate. She didn't like sitting still at all. Look, old mate's in the off position. This is the old one. Sparkle, sparkle, get out, get out, get out. Well, it's a display piece anyway, I suppose. It just goes back in the cabinet because, I mean, I am the first owner. I don't know why I unwrapped them. They're terrible. I don't need to hear them. Mmm. But still fun unboxing this thing. I, they're still kind of neat. 512 is pathetic now. That's There's no flexing that anymore. Don't go to school tomorrow flexing about your 512 shuffle, mate. I mean, souffle. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate, because $1 a month, I do extra vids. I think there's like 50 of them up there now, and you actually have my blessing to spend a dollar, binge them all, and then just leave. I, I don't care. 
just give me that dollar for them cheddar march scrolls. But this week, I don't know if you've realized, but we're in the warehouse right now. Yeah, we're in a whole new building. Have you noticed anything changed? Mmm. So you can trust me. Brought the duck and everything, and my book sell army. But I bought this. It's highly modified with a backlight, so I can play manky games. And I want to play a manky game, mate. We're gonna play Shrek Fairy D have what Fairy Tale Freak Down. So this is what we're gonna be doing in the after show. So thanks so much, and I'll uh, see you all next time. Frank looks like the old React Squirrel meme. Isn't that it, Frank? Can you give us a lick? Hey, thank you. No, only one on one.